What's that device on your arm, bruv? Welcome. And a what? Welcome. Take a look. Farewell. Need a haircut? If you need me, you know where to find me. Hey, old traveler. Come closer. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid sanctuary is closed at this time. This is St. Paul's Sanctuary. We offer refuge to all those who need it, no matter the creed, under normal circumstances that will extend to you as well. Usually we'll welcome anyone in, but we're expecting an attack. The gate behind me is remain closed. Bishop's order. A band of thugs, hooligans. They have no morals, no principles, nothing. Hedonists will do anything to get their hands on chems. Well, let's test your judgment. Why do you think? Exactly. We possess items that many would consider valuable, as well as a vast supply of tickets in our treasury. Our patrons are very generous. Those thugs wants to take advantage of that. I don't know, maybe. I will have to check the records. You expect me to remember? Oh, so I'm a gatekeeper now? Just because I'm standing in front of this gate? I'll have you know, I have many other important duties. I'm not just a gatekeeper, as you say. I'm very busy at this moment in time. I'm not disposed to just check the records. Now just... They're here! The Lord's guides us! Fucking...
and you. You have my gratitude. You can certainly carry yourself in battle. You certainly do. Take this from my own pocket. I may have a more lucrative job for you, though. Consider it mercenary work. This group of hooligans, they have a leader. Violent Violet, they call her. And for good reason. No doubt she's orchestrating this from their headquarters. Get rid of her, and we'll be rid of them for good. I'm afraid it's the only way. Believe me, we have exhausted all other options. We'll defend against the main forces, while you perform a counter-attack on that headquarters. With any luck, their organization will crumble, and Sanctuary will be free of this raid. Without being too exact, a reasonable sum. Bishop Puella is very generous. Head there right away, before the assault. They are located in the old Guildhall building. Good luck.
Watch where you're going. as a deckhand to help me. Uh, we don't usually have work for outsiders, much less a human. But recent events are forcing our hand. Now <laughs> where do I even start? I don't know how long you've been in London, Wayfarer. But people here tend not to be too fond of us. Uh, some say it's the neck folds. Some say it's the smell. Me, I say. I say, fuck that. We have a right to live here, same as anyone else. But Bob doesn't see it that way. Bob thinks we should leave, go somewhere where people will accept us, or at the very least, not bother us. If we had more support from some of the other Thames folk, that would go a long way. No. I mean, yes. <gasps> well, sort of. <gasps> we have an even bigger problem on our hands. Shortly after we settled in here, people started disappearing. <gasps> Slowly, sure, but it's been happening. <gasps> it took a while before we noticed there was a pattern. Naturally, if we have citizens disappearing without a trace, it <sighs> doesn't exactly make my case of staying here stronger. Now does it? Next to nothing. We don't know if they were taken by someone, <clears throat> killed, or hell, even if they left on their own. I sure hope it's the latter. We moved here because the fucking Jack Tars destroyed our old home. Demswitch. <clears throat> A lot of people died. <clears throat> Some have never recovered. That poor Angela. Angela Clarkson. <clears throat> She's Bob's wife. She got uh, <clears throat> a bump on the noggin in the Thames Witch attack. Though I disagree with him, I can understand why Bob's keen on leaving. We need someone to look into the disappearances, <clears throat> figure out why they're happening, and <clears throat> hopefully stop it. That's the only way we can stay in London. If you're willing to help, you'll want to speak to Coward himself, Bob Clarkson. He can tell you more than we can. The ferryman's right. Not the coward part. But yes, he knows more than we do. Bob may want to leave, but trust me when I say he is dedicated to the welfare of this community. <sighs> Thank you. The surface world gets louder and louder each day. Make it quick. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Bob, it's them. They're coming. Sweetheart, it's fine. It's just a visitor. Make it quick. Well, let's see. Thameshaven is in danger, and I have no idea how to help my people. And, on top of that, I've lost track of how long I've been caring for my delirious wife. Charity, <laughs> in this world, might call Satan, seems like hell's frozen over. Just how much has the ferryman told you? Sadly, that's about all we know. The last guy to go missing was Cole Blakely. 
He's the freshest lead we have. If you find out what happened to him, then you'll probably find the rest. Take these. This should get you into Cold Shack. It's the dilapidated old lean-to on the northwest corner. It's easy to miss it. Before you go, do you have any questions? Young guy. Mid-twenties. Kept to himself, mostly. Some would say he wasn't all there. But in a harmless way. Wouldn't be like him to just wander off. He was Jeremy's deputy. Not that that means much round there. Angela's affected. But when Jack Charles attacked, she got hurt. Badly. It was a brain injury. She's recovered. But she also hasn't really recovered. If you know what I mean. It's like she lives in her own little reality now. Ah, <laughs> oh, you mean mittens? <laughs> that little bug is just about the only thing that brings any joy into this house. <sighs> Angela's taken it to him real well since her illness. <sighs> Don't worry, though. He won't bite or clamp. He's fully domesticated. Named him after his species, the mitten crab. Not inventive, but he's a cutie. Good luck for both your sake and ours. Do you smell that? It's the Thames calling us. Deputy. Uh, 
He actually wanted to do good, to help people. Mandatory curfew. Uh, after 8 p.m., everyone has to be in their homes. Of course, everyone ignores us. Uh, and I can't arrest the whole town. No. Uh, we're under lockdown right now. If you've seen other Thames folk around, uh, they're the boys from Rotherheath, or those savages from Bermondsey. Anyone from Thameshaven stays in Thameshaven for now. Uh, the ferryman gets a pass. Of course I do. I'm the sheriff. Uh, and don't think I haven't ruled you out as a possible suspect. Maybe you haven't noticed, but with Carl gone, I am 100% of our security detail. I don't have time to go rummaging around people's houses. Mm, shut up. Well, I'm not sure why you're so interested in being a vigilante when it's my job. But I ain't gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. My best guess is that the person who left this note wanted to sneak out of Thameshaven. A rabble rouser. If I were you, I'd speak to some of the townsfolk and see what they say. Can't hurt now, can it? Let me know what you find. What is it? This again? Look, I don't mean to be cutting, but I'm a busy guy. And no, I don't know anything. He's a good kid. I hope they find him. But I've got work to do. Try Hugh. Hugh Morris. He was pretty shaken up the night after Carl went missing. Something must have spooked him pretty badly. Hopefully the ferryman will get us some mitten lurk eggs soon. They're delicious. Haven, you are my pride and joy. You're at the John. I take it you've already spoken to my husband. He's a bit much, isn't he? I liked Carl. Goodness, did I just use past tense? Well, I like Carl. He's honest, dependable, kind. But no, I don't know what happened to him. Try speaking to Hugh Morris. He went around saying he heard something the night gone and missing. Not sure if there's any truth to it, but I wish you luck. Look at this stuff. Isn't it yet? This world gets louder and louder each day.
nothing like a swim in our tails. Not sure if I'll ever get overseen a human. Welcome, friend. Let the surface dwellers Glad keep you. you. I've got my eyes on you. What do I look like? A bulletin board? I don't have any jobs for you. I'm the head of Thames Haven Security. Constable Jeremy Lewis. Heard you the human who saved the ferryman. Nice job. Mm, typical human. Do you smell that? It's the Thames uh, calling to us. Yeah. Do I? Do I? I most certainly do. It's about time someone got off their ass and asked me. I'll tell you now, Git. I heard something most unholy that night. Scared me so bad my neck fold shook. We may have been uh, undermining curfew, uh, but I heard strange sounds outside of town. They're coming from that road to Rotherhithe. Yeah. Next moment I know, he's gone. How should I know? I only told you what I heard. You're the one asking questions and looking into things. You handle it. But, hey, uh, tell me what you find, okay? They call us Cedar. Warriors of the deep. Monsters. Can't they just leave us alone?
queen calls, screams, she hungers come. I can hear her hunger pangs growing louder, louder. She's calling for you, not the one who merely watches, not Jerry. Like the raging tide, she'll wash us away if you don't. She'll send her chitinous children, or worse, she'll deign to leave the throne to claim us One by one, one by one. Your kind does have two eyes. No, your kind does have and two yours. eyes, right? Fuck. We need to go to Bob's house. Now. I'll meet you there. The surface world gets louder and louder each day. Hello, human. How are you today? Watch where you're going. Oh, <clears throat> sorry about that, human. One day, I'll take my family to see the servants. Rachel, what's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. Angela has been sending people on fucking suicide missions. What are you talking about? Listen to this. What are you talking about? Now do you see? There's the cabal of evil humans conspiring against us. It's your wife. We... we need to talk to her. Find out who this Empress really is. <sighs> For once, I agree with you. Demons! Demons, all of you! Go away! Angela, sweetheart, it's me, it's Bobby. Go away! The Empress commands it. Is she always like this? Well, yes, but I never thought anyone would listen to her. Angela, who is the Empress? Vile Lilith! 
Open not your filthy harlot mouth. Bob, this is going nowhere. She's not coherent enough to even speak to me. <sighs> Let me try. <clears throat> Angela, can you tell me about the Empress? Demons! Demons, all of you. Go away! <sighs> Angela, <sighs> sweetheart, it's me, it's Bobby. Go away! The Empress commands it. Is he always like this? <sighs> well, yes, but I never thought anyone would listen to her. Angela, who is the Empress? Vile Lilith! Open not your filthy harlot mouth. Bob, this is going nowhere. She's not coherent enough to even speak to me. <sighs> Let me try. <clears throat> Angela, can you tell me about the Empress? She who is cloaked in chidden armor, hard-faced and gargantuan in size. She who guides me, who commands me, I carry out her will. <sighs> Have you been sending people to her? Only the virtuous. I tell them there's a threat to James over. Mm, that they can't tell anyone. That they have to go and see what it is. And then they're sacrificed. Why? Why would you do that? The Empress is hungry. And when she eats, she is happy. And when she is happy, she leaves Thames Haven alone. <laughs> this... this isn't my wife. This isn't her. Bob, go get Dr. Webb. I'll be as fast as I can. I have no idea. Something hungry and vicious. I guess we'll find out once you locate that Empress. The Empress reigns over the Blight. There's your answer. The Blight. I've heard stories of that place. We all have. None of our kind dare go there. They say it's hell on Earth. If you do this, if you find this Empress and spill its fucking guts, we'll forever be in your debt. <sighs> Nothing like a swim in our Tims to make you feel alive. Sorry about that, human.
service. Come back anytime. I am more than happy to help. Look at this stuff. Ah, hello there, human 